Good afternoon, everybody, friends and family from church. Well, um, during uh, this time and trial, we as the people who live in this world, we face this global deadly disease that we all face, and we all need word of encouragement. And um, some lose their loved one, and some lose their job and their source of income. And when we face trial, I found that there's no other word of encouragement that I can give, but I know where to go to for a word of encouragement. That is the word of God. I love uh, Psalm 23. I would like to read it to you. That is an encouraging word to me and my family. Psalm 23 says, The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pasture. He lead me beside quiet water. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right path for his namesake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. And also another thing that Touch my heart also is Psalm 91 5 through 6 says, You will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalk in the darkness, nor the plagues that destroy at midday. It reflects to me that this global plague is affected worldwide, and I know that our God made a distinction between His children and the world, and not, no harm will come upon us. May the word of God be encouragement to you, friends and family, in Jesus' name. May God be the glory. Thank you. And greeting to all our fam church family. And um, I'm Salina, and this is Moon. And um, thank you for having the opportunity to sit here before our church family. And... Um, Actually, it's just my birthday yesterday. We celebrate 50 year birthday and I'm grateful for that, that God saved my life for all um, my childhood until now and reached 50 years old. That is amazing and thank God for that. And um, through this time of um, disease, deadly disease, like my husband said, I be able to stay home because of the salon is closed, I work at nail salon. And through that, um, uh, I've, been, I've been reading the Bible in Leviticus chapter 26. It say um, 50 years is the Jubilee years. And I'm like, how I want to not working a whole year <laughs> and celebrate um, the 50 year that God gave in to me. But I'm like, it's not impossible because salon works six to seven days a week and I work long hour from nine to seven, sometimes eight o'clock. But thank God for um, this time. I know it's sad, sad time, but um, it's, it's like a joke. Like God's um, shut everything down so I can rest. And I'm sure he want us to rest. I found that it's very good for me to rest stay home, able to um, recharge a little bit. And I depend on God for his provision. I don't have my unemployment yet, <laughs> stay home, but God been faithful and provide for our need. And happy to be home. I work on my yard work. I grow some gardening, some flowers, wake up, see my kids working, able to work at home and get to see them and spend time with them. And I'm happy, happy for that. And um, I have also, there is good and bad day, like um, as we are human, we have trial. Sometimes you're sad, sometimes you're happy, but good thing we have God is all knowing and he's always by our side and he's with us. And that's, thank God for that. And I love to share the story of Job because that um, touches me. The story of Job's um, in chapter one, chapter two, but um, I'm sure most of you 
know about know the story of Job and I just read a little bit so one day the angel came to present themselves before the Lord and Satan also came with them to present himself before him and the Lord said to Satan where have you come from Satan answered the Lord from roaming throughout the earth going back and forth on it and the Lord said to Satan, Have you considered my servant Job? There is no one on earth like him. He is blameless and upright, a man who fear God and shun evil. And just, you can read through it, but um, the story of Job, it helps me that um, God is all-knowing. Whatever we do here on earth, there's God watching over us and nothing can hide from him. And... I love the story that God himself bragged about Job in front of all his angels. And um, I'm like, that would be nice if God brags about me in front of the angel, you know, never mind here on earth. He knows what's, who's, what's going on, our thought, our mind, our heart. So when you read the story of Job, he go through a lot, you know, this, the devil. Um, Test him, you know, ask God, skin for skin, Satan replied, a man will give all he has for his own life. But, um, you know, like, uh, the, the devil tests God two times about Job's story, but he did, Job did not fall. But his, his wife, because of Job's um, faithful servant and his hard walk with God, his wife, you know, uh, the devil destroy all he has, and even his um, ten children, seven sons and three daughters. And the second time that he go through tri trial, his wife said, um, Curse his God. wife uh, said to him, Curse God uh, yeah, he's, he, uh, let me see here. Bad wife. His wife said to him, Are you still maintaining your integrity? Curse God and die. We, you know, through, through trial, and I'm sure she's overwhelming to see her. She lost everything, her children, 10 children, and all she has, her, her, her treasure. But Job replied, You are talking like a foolish woman. Shall we accept good from God and not trouble? In all this, Job did not sin in what he said. So this story helped me to be still and know God. And I'm praying that everybody will find comfort and peace and have time just read the Word of God. It's, the Word of God is the medicine for us so and bring us healing. Thank you. Thank you. May, have, Thank you. may you all have a blessed day. Mm -hmm.